you're being lied to. Everything you think you know about manifestation is flawed. It's not about forcing your dreams into existence by thinking about them 24-7, using vision boards or praying for signs. In fact, the real secret to manifesting is doing the exact opposite of what you've been taught. It's time to let go of the idea that more effort equals faster results. Stick with me because by the end of this video, you'll understand why letting go is the key to easily manifesting anything. Here's the ugly truth, the more you want something, the more you're unknowingly blocking it from coming to you. This is why so many people struggle to manifest their desires. They're too desperate for it to happen, constantly checking if it's arrived. This creates resistance. It's like holding onto a rubber band so tight it snaps back. Desperation is the opposite of abundance. If you're desperate, you're in a state of lack, telling the universe I don't have it. And guess what? The universe just mirrors that back. Let me break down the law of assumption in a way that's going to hit you hard. It's not about wanting your desire. It's about assuming it's already yours. But here's where most people screw up. They keep looking for signs that it's on the way, which means they're assuming it's not here yet. And guess what? The more you check, the more you affirm it's missing. The universe responds to your belief system, not your desires. So, if you're thinking, I hope it happens, you're telling the universe it hasn't happened. You've probably heard the term detachment a thousand times in the manifesting world, but I bet no one has told you what it actually means. Detachment isn't just about saying, I'm cool if it happens or if it doesn't. Detachment is about feeling so secure in your assumption that it's already yours that you stop caring about the outcome. And no, it's not about pretending to not care while secretly stressing over it. True detachment means your energy says, it's done, I don't need to worry anymore. This is where the magic happens. Let's get practical. How do you actually detach when you're desperate for something to happen? Here's the first step, embrace indifference. This doesn't mean you stop wanting what you desire, but it means you let go of the need for it to happen right now. You stop chasing it and instead focus on enjoying your day-to-day -day life. Think about it this way, when you order something online, you know it's on the way. You don't keep checking the mailbox every 5 minutes. You trust it'll come, so you relax. That's the vibe you need to embody. Okay, here's where things get controversial. Most people are manifesting from the wrong place, they're manifesting out of fear or lack. Let's keep it real. Are you manifesting money because you're scared of being broke? Are you manifesting a relationship, because you feel lonely? If you're chasing your desires from a place of fear, the universe will give you more of that fear. That's just how it works. If you're always thinking, I need this, or I won't be happy, you will stay stuck in the cycle of needing and never having. I know what you're thinking, but if I don't try, how will I get what I want? Listen carefully, trying harder is the reason you're stuck. When you put in too much effort into manifesting, you're telling the universe that you don't trust it. You're trying to control the process. The truth is, manifesting isn't supposed to be a grind. It's not about forcing things into existence. It's about allowing them to come to you naturally. The more you push, the more you repel. The universe works in flow, not force. Now, let's get into the second step of detaching, living like it's already done. I'm not talking about fake it till you make it. I'm talking about embodying the feeling of already having what you desire. How would you act if you already had that money, that love, that dream job? You wouldn't be stressing over when it's coming. You'd be relaxed, confident, and focused on enjoying life. That's the secret to detachment, you live as if it's a done deal, and in that state, the universe has no choice but to deliver. Here's the harsh reality, some people are never going to get this. They'll keep trying to manifest from a place of control, fear, and obsession. They'll stay stuck in a cycle of wanting and not having. But if you've made it this far into the video, you're different. You're ready to understand that the key to manifesting isn't about working harder or obsessing more. It's about shifting your energy, and allowing the universe to do its job. Not everyone is ready for that, but if you are, you're already halfway there. Now for the final step. This is the hardest one for most people, completely forgetting about your desire. Yes, you heard me right. 
forget about it. Once you've done the inner work, once you've embodied the feeling of already having it, you need to let it go entirely. Stop thinking about it, stop checking for signs, and stop worrying. Focus on something else entirely. The universe works best when you're not micromanaging the process. Trust that it's coming, and shift your focus to living your life. Here's the no BS method that no one is telling you about, decide it's already yours and move on. That's it. Forget the endless affirmations, the vision boards, the constant worrying. Just decide it's done, act like it's already here, and focus on enjoying your life. The universe responds to certainty, not anxiety. You don't need more manifesting tips, you don't need another technique, you need to trust yourself and trust the process. Here's your challenge, and trust me, this will flip everything you think you know about manifesting on its head. For the next 48 hours, let go. Let go of obsessing, stop checking for signs, stop forcing the outcome. Here's the crazy part, act like you already have it. Don't stress, don't chase. Just live like it's a done deal. Because the more you detach, the faster it shows up. So, are you brave enough to step back and let the universe do its job? Now, if this resonates with you, smash that like button, share your thoughts in the comments, and let me know what you're ready to let go of. And before you go, subscribe, because we're going deeper into this in upcoming videos. Oh, and by the way. What if the very act of letting go makes it all happen today? See you soon.